Good morning. Today is July the 1st, 2020. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. Today we are found in Proverbs chapter 1, since the first day of the month, and verses 8 and 9. And today's devotional is entitled, Crown Jewels. Let me read Proverbs 1, 8 and 9. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament of grace under thy head and chains about thy neck. Proverbs 1, verses 8 and 9. Crown Jewels. One of the largest tourist attractions in England is found at the Tower of London, the Crown Jewels. The Crown and Regalia there have graced the heads of monarchs for centuries. Some of the pieces date back more than 800 years. The best known piece of the collection is the Imperial State Crown. It contains more than 3,000 gemstones, including the Second Star of Africa, the Black Prince Ruby, the Stuart Sapphire, St. Edward's Sapphire, and Queen Elizabeth's Pearls. This is a crown that Queen Elizabeth wears for the opening of Parliament and other state occasions. These beautiful pieces are a token of honor and tradition that has lasted for centuries. When we walk in God's paths, keeping the instructions and principles taught to us by our earthly and spiritual parents, there are many benefits. We are spared the judgment for wrongdoing that comes when we violate these principles and precepts. And we're able to receive the blessings of God that he promises for obedience. But one of the most important things in God's plan for our lives is that we pass on what we have received. The monarchs of England do not retain the crown jewels for themselves. They add to them and make them more beautiful and vulnerable and then pass them on to future generations. It is very interesting about passing things on to other generations. For example, I'm a father and I have children, and then they have children. The question is, if the Lord tarries, whether or not uh, down the line, sooner or later, these children will be following the Lord, love the Lord, want to serve Him and believe in Him. As you know, generations come and go, and many times it's people who lose track of spiritual things, and others who once had it, their children lose it. The crown jewel says if we do teach the word of God and we build that into our lives that we and they successfully will translate that to their children, that our heritage down the line does not have to lose sight of the fear of God. So God wants us to live in obedience so that we can set an example for those who come behind us. Not just what we say, but what we do. Some have the privilege of coming from generations of believers, while others are the first Christians in their family. In either case, we should live so that they and those who come after us have a great legacy of grace to follow. When you walk in a way of godliness and wisdom, it decorates your life in a way that brings glory to God. So they see us carrying our Bibles to church. And if we take them serious and they see us pray, will that be passed on to their hearts that they'll want to serve the true and the living God and not be lost in the generations to come or take the Lord lightly? Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you that your word tells us that there's things that don't cost anything that are crown jewels. They're things that are passed on of your principles in our lives. Help us not just to be hearers, but to be doers, to believers, be able to successfully pass them on to our children so they can successfully pass them on to their children and our heritage will not have lost sight of you. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy and allows us to do th those things and for our children who rise up and call us blessed because of their fear of you and that we have one common faith. Thank you for my generation that ahead of me are my parents and their parents, and behind me are my children and grandchildren. I pray that they will not wander, you'll draw them even close to you today. And all the people listening, the same thing. 
They're watching our example. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember our theme verse for Renew, found in Romans chapter 12 and verse number 2. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Some of the situations are continuing to linger. We need to continue to have patience. But you have a good day today. And remember the joy of the Lord is your strength. Bye now.